Hello and welcome back to the Royal Legion SMP series where we are back in our base and I have done quite a bit of camera actually and I will quickly show you what I have done. So I have replaced all the back walls here with acacia wood and I have replaced the entire floor except for this right here with some stone slabs. The reason why I didn't do these is basically because I want some um, acacia logs on the floor right here as I think that will look pretty cool. I do realize that I do miss some acacia wood over here and also some of it over here but we should be fine for now. I'll change that later and yes the redstone blocks are gone. I removed those. Out here I did some more. I am um, of course the acacia wood you can see here and I expanded it all the way down here. So, so far it looks really good. I copied the floor and put it on top here as the ceiling as there potentially will be another floor above us. So that will be that. And over here above on the top of the mountain, I finished the path. So if just go through, go out. As you can see, I finally added this um, acacia log all the way from there to there. So that is looking pretty good. Also, I planted some more acacia trees because I will be needing them. Um, yes, that is actually pretty much it. Um, so in today's episode, we are going to go to the nether because I have found a nether fortress that we're going to explore. I will be looking for some blaze rods. I will be looking for... Um, wrong button. I will be looking for a nether ward and a few other... A few other things as well, because as you know, there are quite a lot of shops in the spawn area, but I want my own shop there. And I've thought, well, what can I really make as a shop? Well, I've decided to make a potion ingredients shop. So because the reason why I, I'm not making a potion shop is basically because Cameron has already planned to do that. So... That's why I'm not doing it. I'm not going to steal his business. Um, so basically, instead, I'm going to be selling the potion ingredients, which I think could be actually really interesting because people might be looking for leather wart if they haven't found any yet. But um, yeah, that will that is basically what we're going to be doing today. We're going to try and find some of that stuff. I think actually I need some stuff. I need some food. I don't know if we have any in here. That is wrong. Okay, I'll take that. That should probably be enough, but just in case. Do I have anything else? Um, yes. Okay, so I have almost a side of this. You know what? Let's bring that and let's save 48 of that for later. All right. That looks cool. And I will be removing this face probably in the next episode or so, just so I can at least look at the gate that it's the way that it is supposed to look like so yeah all right so i have already found another fortress um it's not that far i placed torches so we just gotta follow the trail so here we are and i believe yes in this direction you're gonna see a torch right over there so we're gonna head in that direction of course i have my sword my bow and my arrows is it infinity yes all right, and of course my armor. I also do want some glowstone. I'll take that on the way back. But um, I went all the way over here, and there you can see another fortress begins. I went inside it a little bit, but then stopped uh, when I saw that there was actually something to look at. And here's actually a place, which is what I need. And I also have looting too on my sword so that is really cool also if i can find some wither skeletons that is gonna be cool and also sp spice mines i was about to say spirit mines <laughs> spice mines is on the server as well and i believe those numbers out there um say how long you have been playing on the server so yeah spice mines have spent a lot of time here i just went in this direction just to see if there's anything i could Maybe spot, but um, yeah, I'm th I think I will leave soul sand for now. I'll probably get some when I get back, but right now I really want to get in here and see what we can find. So I already blocked the lava off. It was flowing inside. Um, I did one big mistake. I did not bring any torches and my gamma, of course, isn't up. So hopefully the video isn't too dark. It doesn't seem like it, but um, 
we'll take a look at that when I edit. Okay, so we have another wart here. That's good. It looks pretty much newly sewn. So hopefully no one has actually been here yet. But I doubt it. I think it's freshly generated. Okay, so there's a chest here. Um, okay, we got some leather wart, iron horse armor, a gold ingot, and a topaz gem. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna take the chest as well because I have a chest room to fill up, okay? So I kinda need that. I will have my sword ready. Oh, dead end. Okay. Wait, was that the only way? No, that wasn't the only way, was it? No. Okay, good. I was I was about to be disappointed. <laughs> I don't know how big this thing is. Um let's go down first and take a look down here. Hopefully there will be a blaze spawner. Okay. I, I gotta say, this might not be very big, so yeah, I'm not sure what to expect at this point. Okay, okay, so it continues to that direction, it also goes down here quite a bit actually, wow. Alright, another chest, okay, plenty of gold, another topaz gem, and gold horse armor. Gonna take the chest, and another dead end. I feel like there's going to be a lot of dead ends on this one, but um, we'll have to see what's gonna happen. Um, dead end, not a dead end, I believe this might just be, yeah, it's just running in circles, I think. Another chest, gold and iron horse armor, not bad. Um, actually, it's not going around in circles, okay. Oh, wow, that's a, ooh, diamonds, okay, not bad, not bad. Aquamarine gem, not bad. Okay, that's a lot of horse armor. Um, oh, another chest, okay. That chest, this one right here was the exact same, had the exact same thing as the first one that we encountered. Okay, sapphire gem, saddle, not bad. Obsidian and ruby gem. These ruby gems or gems in total don't really do much. But I do think that people might be collecting them, so I guess I'll be... Maybe I should... Maybe I should open a shop selling the gems that I find. Let me know down below in the comment section right now what you think I should do with all these gems. Because personally, I don't really think I want to do anything with them. So any suggestions on what to do with them is, well, at this point, really appreciated. Okay, so here i got to be a little bit careful I don't get turned around. Um, okay, so that's just a dead end. You know what, let me get back here. Um, okay, so I came, I came from here. So I don't mind getting lost, to be honest, because I can pretty much find my way back. Okay, I'll wait with that, because that goes down to another section. I want to go this way. Um, this way, actually. Yeah, this way. Yep, just another dead end. Well, so far no blaze bonus or anything. Um, oh yeah, there's that. Um, okay, I don't think that leads to anything. No, okay. Okay, we got a stair up. We got, I think, I'm sure I saw something. I'm taking the leather ward, of course. Okay, that was just a chest. <laughs> there we go. I'll, you know what, I'll head upstairs first. Why not? Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. Don't want to fall down there. That would be very, that would hurt a lot, I think. Um, I th think, ooh, magma cream. I hear magma cream. Okay, so that's just a dead end. I would rather find this magma cream since I have looting on my sword just before I go down. Um, I'm not interested in going that way, but I would be interested in potentially go, whoa. Oh, that jump scared me. I did not expect the lava to go that way. You know what? Just for that, I'm going to block you. Sorry you had to witness that. Um, Moving on. Okay, at this point, I'm getting my pickaxe up. I just heard a magma cream or magma block slime thingy. Okay, so that's my torches, actually. Um, I know what I heard. It was over here somewhere. Have some other side. I really want to go check it out because magma cream for fire resistance would be a big thing to get. I'm able to make my own magma cream, but 
because I have slime. Uh, that looks interesting. That's probably the next level. It was probably below me, to be honest. Let's just go back on there. Unfortunately, no with the skeletons, though. Kind of disappointed. Oh, well. Okay. Let's go this way a bit. See what we find down here. Okay. Golden chest plate. Not really something I want. Iron horse armor. Eh. That's the greatest. Okay, another chest. Okay, here places. Okay, that's just a little bit. Another golden horse armor. And I think I'm just gonna leave some of this stuff here because at this point I don't really want all of this. I don't use the golden chest plate, I don't use the horse armors. Okay, where is that thing? I hear it. Hmm. Sounds like it's below me? Hmm. I was gonna try and dig down a bit here. Maybe another section of the fortress. Um, I'm not sure. Actually, yes. Huh. Ow. Okay, let's take this guy on. Come at me. Ow. Ooh. Perfect. How much is that? Three. Not bad. Okay. Kill you guys. There we go. I have looting too, so I should get quite a bit. Okay. I got four. Not bad, I think, actually. Yeah, this is the thing leading down, I think. No? Okay, never mind. We got down here. That's pretty cool. I wonder what else is down this way, then. Because I hear stuff. Okay, um, I need some more of blocks. Whoa. That's a default. Okay, get that. So I can block stuff off like this. Because I hear blazes and I want blazes. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna waste my pickaxe on that. So I will be just maybe digging a bit up here. Since I hear blazes very close by. Oh! Blaze spawner. Oh. Not bad. I need the blaze rods. Ow. Ah, nice little hole down here. Alright. Get him. Ow. There we go. 14. I would like a bit more. So... That would be pretty cool if I can get some more. Just waiting for it to respawn. So, so far, so good. Here they are. Ow. Pretty sure I have fire resistance on some of this fire protection, yeah. Pretty useful. Okay, where did I come from? I came from over here. Let's just make a little path. There we go. Cool. 19. Hopefully that will... Yeah, that, that definitely is enough. Uh, let's get back up. Back on track. Okay, so where were we going? Um, okay, so I remember this. Whoa. I'm just going to shoot you. I said I'm just going to shoot you. Gotcha. Okay, so this just led in a dead end, if I guess that led in a dead end. I think that is everything explored. We were just there. There's the spawner. I believe we went in that direction. Pretty sure, anyway. You know what, let's just pop a hole. Yeah, that's just the dead end from before. So that's all good. We covered that. I think that is actually the entire fortress. Um, pretty much explored at this point. I don't think there's anything else to it, unfortunately. Would have been nice with some more. 
Actually, I remember something over here. Going down. And another thing going down. Okay. Oh, we have a normal skeleton. Bang. Okay. Oh, we have some more down here. Okay. That is just a dead end. Uh, let me go forward first. Looks like this might just be another dead end. Uh, that is very close to the spawner, I think. I'm not sure. Let's get my fish out at this point. Okay, so that's a dead end. Let's see what's down here. Hey, okay. Ooh, another spawner. You know what? Since they are here, we might as well just take them on. Boom. It's a bit of a confusing fortress, this one, I gotta say. Okay, this way. Okay, dead end, dead end, dead end. Got it. And so we have this one. Um, it's a maze down here. Okay, so this is a dead end. There's lava up there, so don't dig up. And another dead end. Wait, what's going to happen if I dig this way? Nothing. What about here? I hear something. It's probably on on the top side. I think we'll do a little bit more nether exploration because I'm not sure how much of this I will cut out. Probably a bit of it. Um, That was pretty much everything. I think I covered all the things down here except for this path. Did end. Alright, so I think that is pretty much all that we're going to get from this nether fortress, which really isn't that bad. Um, Considering the diamonds, the gems, the obsidian, the amount of horse armor, and we also got a fair good amount of nether wart. Um, I will need to craft a quick stone shovel or something, just so I can get um, some of the soul sand. Now, where did I come from? I think it was just here. Perfect. And the nice thing is, it's not too far away from my portal, so I can easily get back and forth to here whenever I need to do so. Alright, cool. Um, I might just throw some of these horse armors away. I don't really need them. I could make a diamond shovel, but that would just be a waste, to be honest. So, okay, so I need... You know what? I'm just going to get an entire... Okay. Yeah. And horse armor, goodbye. I'm just going to get an entire stack, actually. Alright, I now have two stacks of soul sand. That should do for now. I'm just going to leave the crafting table. Um, I think I will be going a little bit in this direction. Hopefully I'll find some glowstone that is easily accessible. Um, and maybe even finding another fortress. We won't be exploring another fortress today, but if I can find one, then that could be pretty cool. This is where we just were, so I believe I'll... I think I'll go up there and start breaking, because I think I want... Maybe a stack of glowstone blocks and then maybe a stack of normal glowstone dust. So I think I'm just going to get up here. I'm going to throw out iron horse armor and another. Uh, actually, um, okay, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> I don't need any of that anyways. All right, that was all of the. Uh, nope. Okay, that was all of the glowstone. Now I just gotta get down to get 
the ones that I missed. Some might have landed in the fire, but that's fine. Just gotta get down there to pick up those that I left down there. Um, one stack and about one and a half stack. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's get that. And I guess I can pick up some of this. Um, I would definitely rather have the iron horse hammer rather than the golden chest plate. It's not the greatest thing ever. Unfortunately, no wither skeletons. So that's that's the only, I think, negative thing on this journey so far. So, yeah. But oh well. I think I'm just going to take a look in this direction real quick. Yeah, nothing really interesting. I think I'm just going to head back home. And, huh, I guess. Okay, so I now have blaze rods, which means I can make a brewing stand. But I don't just want a brewing stand. I want a brewing machine. Um, so I don't have to do anything manually. I just have to switch a bunch of switches and everything should be good. So I think in the next episode we'll be doing that. I think I'll make it at the opposite side of the storage room, I think. Because my main idea is to have a bunch of rooms for different things. And really the best way I think to do is not to make a list of all the things that I will be needing, but just make rooms for things when I need it. Um, some things could be better having together, like maybe furnaces and chests, but I'm not going to be too bothered with it. Because currently I can think of four rooms. Storage room, done. Um, brewing room, enchantment room, and smelting room, or furnace room, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. Oh, wrong button again. Uh, wrong button. There we go. Got it. So, so far, so good. That is actually not a bad trip whatsoever. Let me just put those in there. I'll put the gold away. Where I have all that. Um, yeah. I think that'll... That'll be it for now. I do need some more chests. There we go. All right. Well, that, I think, is about it. So in the next episode, we'll probably be making a potion brewing machine over there. It's probably going to need at least uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 space or something. So I guess just putting the door here just like this. I am thinking of potentially putting the furnace room on top of this one because what I then potentially could do is to run the output of the furnace through a hopper down to these chests using an item filter using hoppers so like um, iron and stuff will go down for example in this one and another one would be going down in this one the only problem is I can't direct the output or take stuff from this chest and put it down to this one, for example. So that is the only bad thing, I suppose. Unless the hoppers went from behind. And then... I don't know. I guess I'll have to do some testing in creative. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and share with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter and join my Discord server link down below. And I hope to see you like next time. And of course, leave suggestions um, for the base, I guess, or projects that I could do. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and have a nice day. Bye-bye.